Look at him. Turn cult. Makes me bloody ill to think on how many times I've put up with Horny Gold and his self-righteous shite. Verily, you are a man of principle, Captain Horny Gold. A man I believe I can trust with my best ideas. Faith and we'll survive this, Charles, with our pride intact. Well, that's confidence. You brewed a plan I might get a taste of? NASA is over, that's plain to see. I say we skip out tonight and regroup at my compound. Fair enough, what's your angle? The Brits have brought their supplies ashore, see? If we nick some gunpowder and pine pitch, we can build a fire ship and send it straight at the blockade, blasting it to smithereens. Aye. We'll use Rackham's ship. You're in a capable captain. My conscience is clear. Right. When you get the gunpowder, I'll secure the pine pitch. Clear shot on him. You there! Stop! Alarm! Rouse yourselves, you dullards! Alert! I 
I can get him from here. He's trying to lose us. Stop, I tell you. Come on, boys, you're lagging. It's this bloody hemp. Lieutenant. Tss. Aye, sir. The Commodore fears a revolt is nigh. His orders are to sink every goddamn pirate ship now anchored in that harbor tonight. It's about the governor's wishes, sir. This is a direct order, soldier. You will take position on the grounded galleon and await the Commodore's further orders. Ooh. Is that clear? Aye, sir. The conniving bastard. Someone ought to slit the Commodore's throat before he gets a chance to bark those orders. You think so? We're dead in the water otherwise. All right, I'll kill him. Your brains are baked. I won't take no part in killing the Commodore. Not one of the King's men. Well, we can't risk our good fortune. I'll be waiting for you. Between them two, Rogers and Chamberlain, what's the issue? The Commodore don't think much of civilians, I reckon. And there's a rumor going around that Rogers is some kind of Jacobite, or worse, that he's a Catholic. <laughs> oh, ho, 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 I could think of worse. Gather those two men there. You lie, 
lads, follow and lay aboard. The Commodore has a job for you. Hi, sir. You there, hold. Commodore ranting and raving about Woods Rogers, calling him a heathen and whatnot. What's happened to set them two off? Bush, man. You don't want the governor's ire brought down on you. He's a mysterious soul. Well, I'm much more afraid of the Commodore in truth. He's a serious chap. No sense of humor. Holes in every goddamn pirate ship anchored in the northern harbor. If you doubt the honor of our cause here, and if my disavowal of our coward governor's wishes causes you anxiety, then you are free to depart my vessel and stay ashore. So tumble up there, men. Tumble up all. Prepare to lose the topsails. That's right! Lay aloft, quick as you please! Oh. Ready to loose the topsails on my signal!
The governor's given us a pardon, Commodore. Don't a man's word mean anything in these times? Has syphilis clouded your mind? Why scratch and claw to protect such squalor? Your parasites feeding off the industry of honest men. Much like King George in that respect. Know your place, peasant! You may have taken my life, but you have not improved your own by any measure. Does some purpose keep you talking? <sighs> if not for that heathen, Governor Rogers, I'd have seen you hanged from your own cross trees. Worm. All of you. Hold you! Straight to get away! 